This is the fifth video of the tutorial of uh, Amira where we are going to look into the techniques uh, to segment uh, the internal components of, um, of an MRI acquisition. And in particular, this time we will focus on uh, tools that um, uh, work uh, on slice by slice. So we will, even in this case, even if we, in this case, we will have to go on slice by slice, we will try to figure out the different techniques and, uh, and in general, each situation has an, an optimal of these techniques. So the, the tools that we are going to use are amazing, basically this uh, lasso and a magic wand and also the blow um, tool. So starting from um, starting from the lasso, okay. So we can uh, we can start with, um, for example, lasso is uh, let let's. Uh, so in in this tutorial we want to segment uh, this bone. So the this is the calcaneum. <coughs> and uh, uh, it's also good to look at it from different points of view to find out what is the in which mm, from which perspective you you see it more clearly okay so i would say that perhaps uh, we can start from this uh, side so what we can do we can set the the windows like this and uh, we can also zoom in a, a little bit. Yeah, okay. So this, it's very, very big and clear. And here is, I would say that is also, can also be interesting to, to have a look of what we are actually doing. And, uh, Remember that it's always important to lock the materials that we don't want to change. So material number three, that is the, actually we can change the name. So this is uh, exterior two. And uh, material number four is the skin. So we don't want to change them, so we, we lock them and also the exterior, but we want to change the inside. Um, we will add a new material that will be the bone in this case. Uh, and we want to, the default is gray, but we, we will change it to perhaps maybe yeah, let's do it green. Okay, so let's start with this la lasso. So lasso is very simple. So you you just draw the the edge of the of the bone. Note that you don't have to be very precise. So th at this point, once you have done it, you can just press A, and it will create this new. It will add it to the material bone. If you want to see it, you just press here and we see this is only one one slice. Okay. So I was saying that you don't have to be precise because mm, your errors every time will average out with the with the smoothing tools that we will use later, okay? So really the first thing that you want to do is to build up a sort of um, like basic structure, like add up material and then we will redefine everything like more, uh, more carefully. But in the beginning you want like a block of voxels to work on later with all the techniques uh, with with all the the smoothing uh, systems that we that we already saw actually okay so even it can be even very like you can like do 
pretty big errors. Like you can, it's important to do it fast. Okay, mm, there is no no problem because everything will be averaged in the end. So just go quickly and uh, and everything is fine. So this is one way. Uh, another way is to use a little bit more complicated, but can be can be interesting. Is to use the magic wand. So magic wand works with the threshold that we already saw before. So the the purple is the the region that we are interested, and uh, uh, consider all these boxes that could be interesting. So I wouldn't go with all slices because what you want is um, when you have like very dark surrounding and inside you want to segment the very white stuff so this is the best case to use this tool but uh, so you definitely you don't want all slices because you will see but this will create a sort of mess and uh, what you want is um, same material only so this will only work into inside and uh, uh, yeah, I think the rest is fine. So you want to uh, definitely fill fill interior, okay? So you want to to take this to the edges, okay? Until you okay, you per you nicely define everything. So once you have this, you can press uh, you can press A and you just add it again, okay? So let's try it again. Okay, so it, this is much faster because uh, you saw it. I did this with, with just one click. But, uh, for example, sometimes you can encounter some issue because here there is a sort of bridge, so the, the material passes through. So what you do, you press L or you draw a limit line, and then you cut this, this part. But you also need to cut it here. And then you press A okay, and you add it. So here again, same issue. And then you add it. So this is a little bit more uh, complex, but if you if you take the hand, then it can go quite fast. Again, remember that you don't care if you have like little arrows like this. This everything will be fixed in the end with the smoothing uh, stuff. So this this takes um, asks for a little like you need to to master this thing a little bit. So every time you do a mistake you just go undo and uh, the last one that in my opinion for this application is the best is this uh, blow tool where you just click and uh, and drag on one side so this will always create some errors like for example this one but as I said you don't really care in, in this part of the of the process okay so you see this is pretty much faster you can also change these parameters to, to change a little bit how the line propagates, but it's quite complex to, to tune it properly, okay, so it's fine. So you see here, it seems that we missed a slice, so we can go back and, and find it, okay, it was this one, okay, now it's full, okay. Um, okay, this, this was basically it. You can go on and uh, and every time, try to, to try the different techniques and see which one works best, and then keep going with that one until you are satisfied, of course. Once, once you have finished the whole thing, you can always go on segmentation and uh, smooth, smooth labels, for example. Let's go 3D and let's set uh, 5, for example. Okay, everything it looks much smoother now, right? So we still have some some little mistakes, but that can be corrected like manually. When when I say correcting manually, you can use this brush. 
But this, I, I recommend to use this one only when, uh, only when you you really need to do tiny details, okay? Because otherwise it will take a lot of time if you want to use this brush too much, okay? This is really the last resource to, to fix very tiny stuff. And um, so I guess that uh, we finished uh, <coughs> also this part. And um, yeah, so this was, uh, this was it about the different techniques for segmentation of internal components. <laughs>